Marquette King is one of the best and highest paid punters in the NFL. His knack for booting football's long distances is often overshadowed by his post-punt celebrations and his bizarre, off-the-wall social media posts. To piece together what drives the eccentric specialist on and off the field, I visited Scottsdale, Arizona, his home away from the Bay. Come on up here. What's going on? What's up, brother? Welcome to the castle. The King Castle. Oh, What's up, nice man? to meet you, Marquette, man. good to meet you, dog. Thanks for having me. I didn't expect to find you here in AZ. Why, why'd you settle here? Well, you didn't expect me to be a punter, too, right? Well, that's what everybody didn't expect you to be a punter. So I'm yeah. saying. I'm pointing over here to let you know what lit is. All right. Got a couple of pictures hanging around. Sometimes I forget I play in the NFL, so it's a way to remind myself. We got a pool table right here. We got a couch right here. We got Elmo over there chilling on the couch. Got the baby grand piano. I used to be able to do Mary at a little land. Let me see. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> All right, show me how it's done. Show me how it's done. Walk me through this. So I've been got, checking out your Instagram, and I know you're a big Power Rangers guy. Oh, man. I need to understand why. Hey, man, it's just some things that can't be understood or explained. So the way I look at it, uh, the Green Power Ranger is still part of the Power Rangers, but he's kind of like on his own page, but he still works with them as a team. And every time they need, they, they're in big trouble, who would they call, right? The Green Ranger, mm -hmm. like the punter. Okay. okay <laughs> This is where it goes down. Hold on, man. We gotta go back here, dog. We oh, need to see that range. On. You gotta keep it easy on me first, right? All right. <laughs> You've been in Oakland, what, five years now? Almost six? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's gotta feel like a home away from home. It's gonna be weird not playing there. But I mean, we got two more years there, so. You've been in the league. You've been in NFL locker rooms. Do you feel like the Vegas environment is gonna mesh well with the football lifestyle. Yeah, I feel like football's football. Everybody okay. plays on a hundred yard field. Yeah. Obviously the city's gonna be different. Yeah. Maybe they'll let everybody go there early just so they can get used to it and get all the turn up out their system. At a time when Facebook and Instagram have granted fans unparalleled access into the lives of their favorite athletes, creating the need for well-vetted posts and finely crafted messaging, King's social media presence relies almost entirely on spontaneity. Although most of his posts depict harmless random moments in his daily life, some have thrust him into tricky situations with opponents, teammates, and even reality TV stars. You are not a stranger to controversy. <laughs> and to put it lightly, right? So you had Travis Kelsey uh, thing, and then somehow, you know, when before I was doing this interview, I googled your name, and something with you and Kim Kardashian came up. Yeah, that's crazy. Take me through that decision, because I saw that you, you know, they, all these conspiracy theories are going out there that you were responsible for, you know, issues with her and Kanye West, yeah. and you just tweeted out like, kind of a shoulder shrug or something like that. It's funny how. People have, I mean, people really believe that. I thought that was so funny, man. Like, there wasn't no proof. If anything, she ain't even my type of chick. You know what I'm saying? I would've went after, I would've wanted to go after her mom, if anything, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. All right, so something I gotta ask you that you posted on your Instagram a couple weeks ago, taking down the cleats, trying to welcome Marshawn Lynch to the Raiders. Oh man, that's amazing. <laughs> It'll be pretty cool, man. And when you, when you talk about, you know, some rookie uh, hazing that you might do, what do you have in mind? Uh, that's my boy. I wouldn't make him do that. <laughs> I wouldn't make him do that yet. Yet? Yeah. Yet being the key word. All right, man. Well, what's next? Well, today is Derek Carr's birthday. I got something planned. All right. Let's go. Tell where the wind blowing. Which way you want to go? Let's go that way. Okay. Yeah. DC, happy birthday, man. Y'all didn't just think I was going to let the chicken go like that, huh?
Can I take your order? Yes, I would like to order uh, a cheeseburger with uh, lettuce, onions, and uh, tomato, please. Here you go. Thank you, sir. This is the Marquette King Scrubble. I love an eggs. Making it rain. The 28-year-old from Macon, Georgia, operates as if he doesn't have a care in the world. I wanted to learn more about what lives beneath the surface of the NFL's most enigmatic personality. Do you worry that you might look back and say, man, I had this platform to like change things? I don't, I don't look at it like that. I still feel like the same Marquette came from Fort Valley State. The people that choose to rock with me, they're gonna rock with me. If they don't, they can just move on. It's that easy. Putting on that Green Ranger suit, you know, you're connecting with people and they're like, oh, it's, you know, it's all right because Marquette King likes it, you know, and he does it. I don't know, does that kind of it's, stuff ever cross your mind? If it's meant for you to, to be a role model and be an example, people, people follow you regardless. I'm just living life and being myself. Whatever happens, happens. Just stay lit. Yeah, stay lit. King often acts on a whim, but there's nothing arbitrary to his approach to life. Whether he's striking up casual conversations with shoppers at a supermarket or breaking out into a dance in the middle of the street, the costume-wearing punter's whimsical nature is fueled by an it-could-all-be-gone-tomorrow mantra. So if he thinks it, he says it. If he feels it, he does it. Alright. Okay. All right, let's see. I'm trying to wait till you get cocky. I got you. <laughs> oh, you got me? Okay, now watch this. Oh. Oh. 